Howdy folks, Dave Boone down here at Emerald City Guitars for a pick of the day. And before I get into this, I want to thank all you folks for watching our videos. We have a lot of fun doing these and uh, given the circumstances of the pandemic and the craziness going on, this is just a really fun thing to do. Today, I've got a, a sweet one, man. This is a 1958 Gibson Les Paul Jr. double cut in the uber cool TV yellow finish. And you can see the dilapidated, what we call a Gator soft shell case, the original case for this guitar. Just want to point out that we also included in this package have a uh, modern hard shell Gibson case that goes along with this for your protection and ours. So anyway, back to the guitar. All original, 1958, Les Paul Jr., one of my favorite guitars. It's like the Fender Esquire of the Gibson line. Just a single P90 in that bridge position back there. The wraparound bridge. Just a rock and roll guitar, man. Just one pickup, a volume and a tone. What more do you need, man? It's just a super, super cool piece. I love the double cuts. Just total access all the way up that fretboard. Given all that too, it's TV Yellow. So TV Yellow, one of the uh, really sought after finishes in the Les Paul Specials and Les Paul Juniors. The story is that when they had black and white TVs, the white guitars didn't show up, so they went with the, the yellow finish on these guitars, so they pop on the TV screen back in the black and white era of television. The, the really cool tortoise pick guard there, you can see the dot inlays, that Brazilian rosewood fretboard, flip it over, the three in line Clouson tuners. This guitar has a little bit of wear on it, a little bit in the back of the neck, you can see where the finish is worn through here. It doesn't affect the playability, it just just a great player, man. Frets are in fine condition here. We've polished them, we've conditioned that fretboard, so she is ready to go with a set of 10 through 46 Diodarios on here. You note the wraparound bridge here. The problem with these for a lot of folks is that they won't intonate quite properly uh, unless you're using a wound G string. This one's set up really well with just a, a plain G on it. The only way to intonate these is you have a little Allen screw on either side of the bridge so you can kind of adjust it either way. And we got it dialed in great. This thing is, is rock and roll machine, ready to go. Sounds great, tunes well. Just a, a joy to have. So the combination of that thick slab of mahogany here, the mahogany neck, the Brazilian rosewood board, man, is just a formula for success with that powerhouse P90 pickup in it. It just roars. Not much else to say, you guys. Simple rock and roll guitar. One of my favorite in the Gibson line from the 50s, and it is a 58 Les Paul. And compared to the Gold Tops, the Cherry Sunburst Standards, and, and even the Les Paul Specials, a very affordable 50s Gibson Les Paul. Today I'm gonna to be plugging this into this very cool 1955 Gibson GA20 we just picked up, and I thought it'd be a very appropriate amp for this same era, a little Les Paul Jr. here. So we're gonna give it a shot, straight in, crank it up, see how that P90 sounds. Thank you. 
So there you have it folks, my pick of the day, an original 1958 Gibson Les Paul Jr. double cut in the rare TV yellow finish to a 1955 Gibson GA20 amplifier. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you next time.